Now at six, a new case of swine flu found in a child enrolled at a Charlotte YMCA. Good evening, I'm Sonia Gann. And I'm Dave Wagner. The Harris Y tells us it followed proper procedures and members should be safe. But with a number of confirmed cases in Mecklenburg County, now at 15, concern turns to the beginning of the school year and the potential for much more. News Channel 36 reporter Rad Burke, he joins us live from the County Health Department tonight. Well, Dave, officials here at the health department and at Charlotte Mecklenburg schools are taking the threat of H1N1 very seriously. So while you what you are about to hear is going to sound scary, the experts say that only means that they are getting ready for whatever develops. The planning that is going on right now is to uh, assume that we are going to have a more virulent and more severe illness in the fall. That is a worst case scenario. With kids about to go back to school, the health department says it will follow many of the guidelines put in place when the first swine flu cases started showing up last spring. We would not close schools and we would, we would not send children home, but rather we would isolate the ill child and we would monitor the health of children that have been exposed. The vaccine to fight swine flu is in the works, but not ready yet, according to Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano. We will not have vaccine available before the school year starts. Even when it is, pregnant women will be the top priority, followed by emergency service and health care workers, and then children up to age 18. And while there will still not be enough vaccine for everyone, the health department is already lining up help to vaccinate all the students who might need it. We are looking uh, around uh, in the community for other partners that we might be able to engage, volunteers, Medical Reserve Corps. And you know, we all bear some responsibility to help ourselves here. There are a couple of tips. When you cough, cover your mouth so the germs don't spread. Most important, wash your hands, do it often. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom at the Health Department, Rad Berkey, News Channel 36. And we've been talking